everyone. I missed you. Last time, a bird came down from the sky and said, let's go up and see it, didn't it? Yes, I am so curious whether our friends in the story can really go up in the sky. Let's go on a story trip together. The bird took clouds from the sky and came back down again. The bird told his friends, Hey kids, I brought down clouds. Let's all ride the clouds together and go up to the sky. There is so much to show you. Hearing these words, the friends were excited and they rode on the clouds up, 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 one by one. Clouds rose high into the sky. They went up and saw a real rainbow in front of them. Wow! It's a rainbow! The kids were filled with admiration. Ah, yes, everyone. The bird came down with clouds. And when they rode up on the clouds, there was a rainbow. Then, shall we draw a rainbow today? First, I'll draw clouds on both sides. I will draw a rainbow touching mountains on both sides with clouds around it. Please draw rounded clouds on both sides. Yeah, and now I will try to draw a rainbow in between them. So let's start from this cloud and draw it. It starts from the end at the clouds, climbs up, and then comes down to the other clouds. And let's draw the two so that they are both convex downward. This is red. And then the stripe below is yellow. And then there's sky blue. And then I will draw purple here at the bottom part. In Korea, we know that there are seven colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But this time, I will draw it with just four colors. Draw four lines like this. And I'll draw a circle shaped sun. Draw this bright sun and express sunlight shining with short lines. Okay, and then let's draw the clouds face. I'll try to show a peaceful smiling face. You can make it curve downward. Yes, it's all drawn, everyone. This time, I would like to show the rainbow a little differently and I will use some colored paper. I want to fill it in like confetti. So I prepared some colored paper with the colors that I drew on this rainbow. Red, yellow, blue, and violet. If you turn it this way, the light colors are there. And there are two colors, one on each side. So prepare this colored paper. And let me start with the red first. And I'll try to show this with colored paper. So tear the colored paper just like this. I'm tearing it from top to bottom. 
and follow along a line. Tear the colored paper in small pieces. And what am I going to do with this many? I will use these torn colored pieces of paper to show the rainbow is here. So if this piece is too big, it doesn't fit. It won't look so pretty if they all stick out like this. So I'll just tear it up to a size that fits in. So, then prepare the glue and put it on the colored paper. Please put it on the paper and stick it here. And here again, put some glue here and stick it. Turning it over. And I'll keep sticking it on. So put some glue on and then stick it. You can even put the torn colored paper so it overlaps. And you can even move it down slightly. And then I'll put it on uh, like this again. If you cut out or tear the paper so it's too small, it may be difficult to paste it on, so you don't have to tear it too small. And keep pasting. Just tear and paste. And please keep doing that. If you hold and turn the bottom of the glue stick, the glue will come up so you can keep using more of it. Yes, I pasted all the red. Yes, and I tore this colored paper and pasted it on already. Don't think it's too hard, or you will take a long time. So why don't you try it together with your friends? You can help out your friends and get help with your teacher. If it's difficult, I think it would be more fun to try it together. Yes. So how do you like to learn tearing colored paper? It's nice just coloring it, but tearing is nice too, isn't it? Yes. And I'll make it so the white part doesn't show. But remember, the more detailed you are, the less of the white paper you can see. If this is difficult, you don't have to paste them all on. Yeah, 
It's almost finished. Oh, the rainbow is completed nicely. And next, I'll color the sun with crayons. Color the sun and draw its facial expression just as we did with the clouds. Smiling face. And I will try to express the sky with pastels. What color do you want me to use this time? Like this on top. I'll try to paint it blue and mix in the colors again. Rub in some green color. And like this. I'm going to rub in some dark blue at the bottom. And then I'll rub it all with my hands again. Can you see the color changing as it's mixed with the crayons? Yes, and let's change the colors by using your favorite colors. Make the clouds pretty. I'll also rub here under the rainbow. This time it seems to be a greenish colored sky. Yes, and please rub it in gently. Try to color over the clouds lightly. And rub the top part last. Yes! Wow! I expressed the background by rubbing the pastels. Of this green sky is very nice and it is finished. Everyone, how was your class today? Today I did not color the rainbow, I tore colored paper. There are various ways of coloring this in. Even if you don't draw a rainbow, Try drawing something you like and filling it in using torn colored paper. And it will be a treasure. Why is that? Because you are a treasure. And then we will meet here again next time. You shine like a treasure. Bye!